Hello everyone, I am Adrija. Welcome to my study room. In the previous video, we have already completed question number 13 of exercise 11.3. Now we are going to start with question number 14. A circular flower garden has an area of 314 meters square. You can see this is the circular flower garden and its area is 314 meter square. A sprinkler at the center of the garden. At the center of the garden, there is a sprinkler water sprinkler at the center of the garden can cover an area that has a radius of 12 meter so the sprinkler can cover an area of radius 12 meter means in every side there will be the radius 12 meter right will the sprinkler water the entire garden so can the sprinkler with with radius 12 meter right 12 meter cover the entire garden so what do we need to find out over here we need to find out the radius of this circular garden if it is less than 12 then the sprinkler can cover the entire garden but if the radius of this circular garden is more than 12 then the sprinkler cannot cover the entire garden okay so So what is a sprinkler? It is used for watering gardens. Okay, if you have visited any garden, then you will see that there is a sprinkler that can water that waters the plants in the garden. So this sprinkler can cover radius of 12 meter. So first, area of circular garden by r square, right? Now, what is the area of the circular garden? It is 314 meters square. So, instead of area of circular garden, we can write 314 meters square, right? Pi means 3.14. Radius, we need to find the radius, right? So, we need to find the r square, right? r radius. So, now 3.14 into r square is equal to 314 meter square r square is equal to 314 meter square by 3.14 right now if we take out this decimal two digits are there so after one there will be two zeros right 314 and 314 will be cut what means 100 or r square is equal to 100 meter square okay or now r square is equal to 100 meter square right so 100 we know that 10 into 10 10 tens are 100 right so 10 square is 100 10 into 10 is 100 means 10 square is 100 so instead of 100 we can write 10 square because 10 square is 100 so 10 square and meter square now r square is 10 square then r will be 10 r square is equal to 10 square then r will be 10 radius will be 10 and meter square will also be meter okay so what is the radius it is 10 meter the radius of this circular garden is 10 meter now will the sprinkler water entire the entire garden the sprinkler will the sprinkler water in entire garden so what was the radius of the sprinkler it was 12 meter and what is the radius of the circular garden it is 10 meter so 12 meter is greater right 12 is greater than 10 so sprinklers radius is 12 meter it means it will cover the entire garden and it will take more 2 meter so the question is will the sprinkler water the entire garden yes the sprinkler will water the entire garden because 10 is less than 12 so therefore right 
therefore the sprinkler will water the entire garden with this we have completed exercise 11.3's question number 14 in the next video i'm going to be back with question number 15 so if you like this video click on like button and stay with me please click on subscribe button thank you